And he did the study that was published in Science. I can't remember its title, but he basically came up with this theory that's called prevalence-induced concept change. So what they did in this study is um, they took a group of people. There was like three different phases of the study, but I'm gonna talk about two of them because I think they're most relatable. What they did is they took a group of 800 different people in the first study, or it, I can't remember how many people, but they had them look at 800 different faces in a row, okay? So they'd look at face after face after face. And these people had to deem whether these faces were threatening or non-threatening. So you're going non-threatening, non-threatening, oh, threatening, threatening, face after face. Now at the 200th face, what they did is they started showing these people fewer threatening faces. Okay, so successively fewer. The second study they did, it was a similar setup, but they used research proposals and these people had to deem whether these research proposals were ethical or unethical. Same deal, about midway through, they start feeding these people fewer and fewer unethical proposals. Now these two scenarios, this should be pretty black or white, right? Either you look at a face and it either threatens you or it does not threaten you. You read a research proposal and it either crosses this like moral line you have in the sand or it doesn't cross it. What they found though, is that people basically see gray. 